Hello Flower Pots, welcome! It's your Auntie Nelly and I'm back with a new review. If you're a new Flower Pot, then make sure that you like, follow and subscribe to my channel because review is what I do. I buy and try so you don't have to. So without further ado, shall we get on with it? Today is the Corona version of a review. Beauty and the Beast. That's the version. I am the Beast. You've asked me to review the Bay Brow. Now, following on from the Lash Lift review, I thought, yeah, let's get our brow sorted. When I purchased this, because I buy and try so you don't have to, on lovely Amazon, I went for the colour Dark Brown. Fuck knows what colour all this is now. It's a bit of gold, a bit of grey, a bit of white, a bit of silver, but we're going to try it anyway. Now I'm thinking this is a dupe of a very popular, very popular uh, eyebrow tint that's already on the market. This however is 6mm and the other one I'm talking about is only 3mm. So you'd get 10 applications out of that one but you get 20 out of this one. What I really like about this straight off is it's already mixed. Because there's a lot of eyebrow tints out there that I've tried in the past. And believe me, you've got to fucking mix them yourself. They're all like sharp. It's not good. Okay, so bolder brows every day. Natural and lasting effect. Quick and easy to use. And it's literally that in a box. So that's good, isn't it? So it comes like this. I've gone for dark brown. And you whack it on your eyebrows. So what you're supposed to do is whack it on your eyebrows before you actually trim or tweeze so that you make sure you get all your hair. Now, a little bit of Vaseline under the brow. So you're not going to go on your skin and over the brow. Okay. So under and over. And it doesn't matter if you do because it does easily wipe off. I have no fucking idea if it easily wipes off or not because I've never reviewed this before. But I'm sure it does. But it's a damn sight easier than using all them brow kits that you have to mix all different portions, isn't it? So, that's on. Get me a little spoolie and just make sure that they're all shaped up. Lovely, like so. And I haven't actually got my vanity mirror. I don't know where the fucking hell it is. It's, it's somewhere. It's just not here. So I'm going to use my phone as a quick look at that. Yeah, that's fine. And then I've seen a few different ladies do this. And a few gents. And they literally just whack it on. But I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I've got my little spoolie as well. I'm going to get my mirror hang on. Right, I've got my mirror now, so we know what we're on with. And I've pulled up the product in Amazon. So it comes in three universal colours. I've lost it. Oh, it's here. So it comes in black, brown and graphite. And it's supposed to suit all hair types. It's got a lovely oval shape applicator and it is long wear. So for some people, they've reviewed that it lasts up to four weeks. But on average, it lasts up to two weeks. So it's efficient because it lasts up to 20 applications. And there's no PPD or hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the dark brown is the most popular shade. Now, some people mix that with graphite. I'm not going to do that. Why do they do that? Mix with graphite in order to control intensity and warmth. Right, why well, aren't they doing that? So, right. I need to know what we do. You leave it on for three minutes, do you? Yeah? Yeah? Leave it on for three minutes, directions, blah, blah, blah. Repeat if necessary. Right, let's go. Here it is. So if your brows are on fleek, I always think like you've got your shit together because you should never put up with bad eyebrows, bad friends, or bad men. Anyway, so let's go. Can you see me? I can see me. Oh shit, it, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, cracker. So I'm just brushing that on, literally. You might have, oh fuck. Right, so we've gone on skin, that's okay. What we don't want to achieve is the McDonald's logo or a look of surprise, being surprised at all times. I'm going to get my little spoolie now 
and I'm just gonna brush off fuck a duck brush that in like so yeah lovely with a little bit there I'm just gonna push that up slightly and I've got some cotton ball pad in case I go wrong <laughs> Yeah, because we do. But that shape is okay, isn't it? Now, don't forget, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Right? So that's now on a little tiny bit. And I brushed it on. In fact, I don't know if I should actually just marry that up at end there. So that all the ears are covered. Yeah? I'm going to set my little timer for three minutes and I shall return. Do I look like Gomez out of Adam's family? Look a bit gourmet -y. So if you research on the internet one of the best um, eyebrow tints on the market, this comes in the top five. Um, it is an instant tint. Some people leave it on for five minutes, ten minutes until they get the desired shade i leave it on for three because i think less is more and if you fuck up at three you'd really fuck up at five so right cancel that so that's off now three minutes so we get then an eyebrow um we get a cotton pad we have a bit of micellar water on one of my favorites is the neutrogena hydro boost um it's just lovely for oily skin. And our people always say, God, aren't you glowing? And I think, no. My skin is extremely oily. Right, okay. So, we're just going to then remove that tint in an upward fashion. Okay? In an upward fashion. I think three minutes was enough for me. Do you? So, has that made a difference? Could I have gone darker? Shall I do five minutes on the next one? I think three minutes was enough under the current circumstances because my hair's not really a, a colour at the minute. Nobody'd ever got her dresses, would they, and say, I want me hair, loads of grey roots, and then like a shitty brownie, goldy colour. Oh, that sounds gorgeous, yeah, let's get it done. They wouldn't do that, would they? Then I get my eyebrow trimmer. Oh, yes. And then, literally, because that's done, I just literally pick out then few little bits there. So good, this little eyebrow trimmer. I always have it in my makeup bag, as you can tell, it's got all black, like, cold stuff on it. And I just go over the few strays, like so, straight off, pain-free. I think it were about a tenner. I'll post the link at the top with the bay brow. Should you want to buy and try, you can do. I buy and try so you don't have to and it's that simple straight off let's have a look how we're doing if ever you have them few funny little stray ones you might have to get your tweezers but this usually for me does job and that I think so look oh hang on it's still going that I think looks lovely do you it's a nice colour isn't it because it just just colours in them ball bits. So I'm going to go away, do other and come back. Okay, my little flower pot. So, as I said before, eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Let's go, shall we? Fucking hell, can you imagine if I were a twin and there were two of me? Good God. Right, so took that off. Much better. This one has always been slightly more sparse than that one, but I used to use tweezers and you can get a bit fucking tweezer happy, can't Oh shit, like then. I've just done a slip. Oh god. But they don't look like McDonald's. I don't look like Gomez Adams. I don't look terribly shit, do I? And they've got a bit of colour and they're less sparse. So, what do I think of Bay Brow? I think it's really good. Click the link above and get it in your baskets. Yeah, I know. I've sorted my lashes out. I've sorted my brows out. My brows? Sorted my lashes out. Sorted my brows out. I need to sort out my fucking tash. That's probably the next review. As for me, I'll be leaving it because if you follow me on Instagram, Antonella Uncensored, you'll see that I've been through a lot with my hair. It's been a process. And um, 
I don't want to fuck it up, really. So, and if I get a box die or anything that's like permanent, chances are I will fuck it up. So there we go. Where is it? Where is the lovely product? It's fucking brilliant, this. Be brave. Braves are everything. Yes, they are. Get it in your baskets and I'll see you all soon with a new review.